1885 to 1885 post-impressionism. Enough! Midterms aren't even until next week. Well, come on, Chelsea. What's something you have to learn from French? Okay. The midterms sound awful. No. Stupid. I'm about 95% sure that has nothing to do with your seniors. Oh my god. Sports and TV. It's great. And the mechanical. Oh, okay. That no, she's having so much fun. Why don't we do anything fun on Sundays? We don't have to study things. You guys are the sweetest. sure what you're doing next year? Got big plans for the future, but not sure how to turn those plans into actions? I think you might have just inhaled too much hairspray. I need to make my own popsicle. But, like, what will I wear? <laughs> There's my sister, Cynic. <laughs> No, status. Chelsea, no, now sorry. I can't see anything. Can you please see? Oh my god. Hi. 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 Oh, oh, it's you. Yeah. Hi. You're here. Yeah, totally. Mercedes Styles? No, yeah, that's totally. Not a... Yeah. Bridget Chandler, right? Right. Okay. Right. I'm Gina Vandervelle. Hi. Just chapter president. So nice to meet you. Back at the old Just House. Oh. Yes, you two are my alumni idols. I, I mean, your you. product, Cheeky Beaver, Lingerie, ah, it's revolutionary. I mean, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. Mm -hmm. Follow me inside. I have your name badges here. Oh, great. We're just going to head on into the Fireside Lounge. Thank you. Okay. All right, so the Popsicle Bar is going to be in the kitchen. Come on in. And just to make yourself known, introduce yourself to the senior sisters. Yes. Ladies, guess what? We made it! Oh my god. Hi. Hello. Oh my god. I am so excited to meet you girls. Cheeky Beaver changed my life. Wow. Would you sign a pair? Oh, my pleasure. Oh, this, is, this, is, no. this is great. I was born for this. Okay. When I first saw that label, it was like, beavers? What are they doing here? And then I realized, I love beavers. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. This is so great to see you here. I've waited so oh, long. Hi, ladies. All right. Trust. All right, so if you'll just gather around, you can just sit right there. Uh huh. Come on over. Oh. All right, everyone. Our guests are here. I've gathered all of our questions for the hopes and dream jars. How to? So they're going to shed some light on those senior year struggles that have been weighing on all of us. I'm not so sure this is such a good idea, Mercedes. Relax, Bridget. You're underwear entrepreneurs, remember? Mm -hmm. These will be softball questions. This is a bad idea. No, it's an amazing this idea. No, shut up. Okay. Let's talk hopes and dreams. First question. Dear Mercedes and Bridget, you guys are so cute and I love your brand. Like you, I am hoping to start my own business after college. I have two partners and some startup cash. 
At what stage in this venture should I create an equity structure and do you recommend using a vesting schedule? Right, well, um, vesting. That's never a good look, right? I mean, unless it's denim. Uh, Bridget, thoughts what? on that? Oh, um, thanks, Mercedes. Yeah. Well, uh, you know what they say, that saving everything until the last minute possible is the nut. That's just the camel's back. They don't they? Say that. <laughs> right. Well, let's. Next question. Wow, softball, huh? Well, that's great. <laughs> oh, okay. Why do you think ladies earn below the average male income, and how can we combat this inequality? Right. Well, that's for a myriad of reasons, really. For example, men are afraid of us and our periods. It really has to do with the moon. And if they don't value you, then they are just more members of the worthless patriarchy. Right, Mercedes, carry on. <laughs> Great insight. Okay, unfortunately, we only have time for one more question. So let's make sure it's good. Um, turn on investment? No. Um, Benefits of diversified assets? Seriously, do you, you all business majors? Okay. Uh, emergency colonoscopy. What the fuck? Okay. Um, this looks good. Okay. Uh, you two must be pretty satisfied with your lives so far. You followed your passion and were able to start a successful business with your best friend and sister. I'm scared of losing touch with my sisters after I graduate. How do I get it right like you? Well, to answer that question, that's a great question. I guess I hope that when you do graduate, your sisterhood does not disappear. Um, you may see your sisters less often, but they are always your sisters and they will always be a part of your life no matter where you go in the world. So I guess the best advice we can give you is to go out there and you Get what you deserve. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was spectacular, ladies. Please accept these gift bags as a token of our gratitude. We use real crystals in our Vitasaur, unlike those peasants over at Delta Beta. Find a parking spot. Hi, I think these are for you. Thanks. Nice, Andy.